Okay, another method of determining if a rational function has a horizontal asymptote is to look at the power on the variable in the numerator and the denominator. And this is described on the previous page, but if the power of the numerator is greater than the power of the denominator, then you do not have a horizontal asymptote. You may have an oblique asymptote. If the power of the numerator is less than the power of the denominator, which is this case, then you do have a horizontal asymptote, and it is located on the x-axis, a height of 0, which this one had. So we could have answered the previous problem by just looking at the powers on the variable. This is to the first power. This is the second power. Since the power of the denominator is higher than the power of the numerator, then it, it, there is a horizontal asymptote, and it's at a height of 0, in other words, on the x-axis. And that's what this one has. And what that means on this particular problem is that this um, medication in your bloodstream never leaves. There's always a trace amount of this medication in your bloodstream. And uh, some medications actually do work that way. Um, if the power, going back to the uh, other method of determining horizontal asymptotes in their location, if the power of the numerator and the denominator are to the same power, let's say both were squared, if both of these were squared or both of these were to the first power, then you look at the leading coefficients. The leading coefficient here is 3. The leading coefficient here is 2. So if both of these would be to the second power or both to the first power or both to the third power, both the same power, then you look at the coefficient and the horizontal asymptote is at the leading coefficient of the numerator divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator. In other words, 3 halves if these would be the same power. 3 halves would be the location of the horizontal asymptote if these would be to the same power. And this gets a little bit confusing, though, if you have polynomials on top. Let's say you had a 3t minus 1 times a 2t plus 4 or whatever. Well, the power of the numerator would actually be to the second power because you would have to foil that stuff together first, you know, expand those two polynomials to get the leading coefficient and see what power it is. So same way on the denominator. If you had another t down here, say a t that would get multiplied through, it would be to the third power, and you'd have to look at that leading coefficient. So that's a little bit tricky, and it's a method of determining the location of horizontal asymptotes, and uh, that works. Or again, you can put in the large values like we did uh, on this particular problem.